I wanted to capture moments of this night and I'm so grateful that I did because I felt so connected to my child self that I really, really think this is something that is connecting me to my childhood self. Um, I have been trying to release a lot of trauma and a lot of build up emotions because, yeah, why not, you know? <laughs> um, but I normally don't do this. I normally don't kind of play soccer or like kick the ball back and forth. Um, especially like when I see it's a nice day and I'm inside, like right now, I'm always like, man, I want to be outside. But I'm so glad that I went outside and I actually experienced it. Um, and I really am so excited that I actually documented, honestly, the experience because I love seeing other people's vlogs or whatever. And, you know, this is something that's really special for me and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Um, yeah, it's just so fun to be outside and the weather is amazing there's wind, but there's also sun. It's like the balance of hot and cold temperature is like, you know, it's at a balance. And I love that. That's what I'm here for. So yeah, I don't know if you guys ever feel like playing four square or kicking the ball around or doing hula hoops or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's do it. If it's a good day, if you have the opportunity, and if you really, really, really want to do it, just do it, you know? Like Shia LaBeouf would say, do it. Just do it. It's probably too loud. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I want to say some affirmations right now about self-love and success. Um, because that is what I'm trying to achieve and I have a feeling that a lot of us are trying to get there with our life. So I'm going to say if you, if you don't mind, I respect my own time and follow through with my commitments to myself. I turn my trials into triumph. I am unquestionably and unconditionably worthy of love. I am at peace with myself. I have all the time I need to achieve everything I need to. I release self-doubt and welcome self-love. I am so proud of my accomplishments. I have endless potential. I trust myself in my intuition. I already have everything I need in order to succeed. I'm grateful to myself for everything I've achieved and everything I will achieve. I have a long and compassionate relationship with myself. I give myself grace. I am in tune with my body and she always tells me what I need. I am gentle with myself, but I am strong in perseverance. Miracles happen to me. Good things show, keep showing up in my life. Everything I need to succeed is already within me. I find fulfillment within each and every day. And if I don't find it, I create it. I am in alignment with myself and it feels amazing. I bring myself so much joy. I live authentically to my true self. I deserve to feel fulfillment. I deserve to be abundantly successful. Failure doesn't scare me. I accept failure as a part of the journey to success. 
My trials are not attached to my worth. My trials are opportunities to learn. Every day I love myself even more. I surround myself with compassionate and supportive people. I respect my own boundaries and hold true to them. I nurture my relationship with myself because it's the most important relationship I'll ever have. I am attracting positive people and experiences into my life. I am open to Those were affirmations from one of my Instagram friends where we connected over doing Sorel Amor's boot camp class. But it's self-love and success affirmations here. That's the website I got it on. I printed them off from my phone. I am so in awe of technology. My family is not one to keep up with technology until it breaks and then we get something. I'm trying to do these affirmations every single week, well every single day, so that I can really really make the affirmation stick. I find that this helps a lot when it is about my perspective needing to change, which is like what my personal blockage in life is about or my personal challenge with reality. It's really nice to kind of like find help from others who are going through or who have gone through um, the similar challenge that you're going through so i just feel so grateful like wow and it's so cute like i mean look at that design it's so cute speaking of designing i created one journal i'm selling it on amazon i'm really excited because i'm putting my uh, nature photography onto these journals and I've wanted to get my photography somehow on a print product. I tried clothing and you know but journals I think are really cool because I personally use journals for a lot of different reasons and I love being able to create your own journal and being able to sell it for others to also enjoy so I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. I'm just finding that journals is something that really helps my creative side, but also um, it kind of helps me branch out with my photography. I'm always looking for new opportunities to um, broaden the way that I can get my photography out in the world. At the end of the day is I want to share what beauty means for me. And to me, beauty is like nature. Nature is like my muse. I just love capturing the random coincidences that happen where you're like hiking one day and you come across two owls and you've literally never seen owls before. Do the clouds go, baby? I don't know. Maybe they'll be back tomorrow. We won't know. How many times do I have to tell you? Early in the morning, you're beautiful too. Early in the morning, you're beautiful too. <laughs> Counting the grains of right sand <laughs> upon the beach Somehow that number that, is though. always out of reach wow. it's like How it's like can I tell you the way. way you make me feel All of my thoughts begin What is a cute little kitty like you here? Honey, are you enjoying the sunset? All of my thoughts begin and end with you Where 
does the wind blow, baby, I don't know. But there is a place I can't tell you where for sure. Falling asleep to.